What's up you guys, it's Sir Scrub here bringing you some more Scrub to you and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new January 17th 2020 ban list. Um, before we get into today's video please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and if you do want to see more creative deck profiles and videos from me please be sure to check out my description with all the different ways that you can support this channel. Um, I am viewing the ban list as a PDF file right now because the webpage wouldn't load. This ban list goes into effect on Monday, January the 20th, and our next ban list isn't until March the 30th. So this is the format we're going to be in for a while. Starting off with our first ban card is Orcist Harp Horror right here. I think this is a really interesting hit. Um, I think it. I don't think it's going to be enough if this is the only hit to Orcist. So we'll just have to see. Moving in here, Thunder Dragon Colossus is banned. Oh man. Uh I, I see why that card is so good, especially under Master Rule 5. But this card is just mm, man, it's really gonna really gonna hurt my heart to see that go. Thunder Dragon's one of my favorite decks. Um Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. Now this is a weird hit to me. I didn't think pendulums were this big of a deal, but apparently Konami disagreed. I guess in a way Electromite does kind of like limit card design in the future, so that's whatever. Um, next, Ib the World Chalice Justishar uh, and Tempest Magician. Now, Tempest Magician was causing FTK, so that's no big deal. The bigger thing here is Ib the World Chalice Justishar. Now, I know that she combos really, really well with Needle Fiber and that there's a lot of one card engines for this card, but I didn't think this card was that oppressive in the current format to worth to warrant being banned now. I didn't expect this card to get banned until after Needle Fiber came out, but I guess Konami just wanted to go ahead and preemptively hit this card. Next we have two Xyz monsters, Outer Entity as a thought. We kind of all wanted this card banned, but then the kooky one is Sal Salamangrate Mirage Stallio. This is their um, MX Saber Invoker for the archetype, which is really interesting as another hit to um, Salamangrate. I don't know if this is going to be enough to uh, completely rein the deck in, considering we still have Signet Mining and all that good jazz. Um, but it is certainly going to be a strong hit to Salamangrate. Moving into the spell cards, they banned Brilliant Fusion, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Also, Dried It and Broad Bull are still banned. Um, Brilliant Fusion, I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I didn't see anybody playing Brilliant Fusion at one. Nonetheless, uh, you know, in the in the recent times since it was limited, so I don't understand why they banned it. Maybe they just think that this card is going to be way too powerful under Master Rule Five. Um, the next spell card banned is Sky Striker Mobilize Engage. They finally hit this card. It really, really needed to be hit. I'm I'm glad to see this card go. I'm glad to see this deck dead. It's been it's been around for far, far too long. And it looks like that's it. That's the uh, last of the band cards. So, um, yeah, overall, nice nice little band section. There's a couple of cards that I'm kind of questioning. Um, like uh, Colossus being banned, this card probably could have went to one. Uh, I knew it was going to get the axe eventually. Electromite is completely out of left field, though. And so is um, Mirage Stallio. And Brilliant Fusion. Like, nobody was really uh, worried about these cards. These were not cards that were on a lot of people's radar, but apparently Konami decided they were a problem, so... Moving into the limited cards, we're going to see Danger Nessie go to one. Wow. Okay, so they are, they're hitting the Danger Engine. Dino Wrestler Pancratops to one. Yeah, this card has been kind of everywhere. It's a free out to a lot of stuff, so um, not so easy side deck choices anymore. Um, Servant of Endymion to one. Okay, so we're seeing we're seeing some hits here. We're seeing some 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 swings on pendulums. Pendulums are getting getting hurt. Notice how Nessie's the only one that's been semi limited. Holy crud! True King Lithogasm, the disaster. The Earth True King has been reborn. Dinos are tier one again. Screw all the haters. This card is ridiculous. It's going to be go time from here on out. That's it for the limited. No limited ritual, uh, no limited fusions, synchros, or exes. So all that's completely in. So this is it. This is our uh, limited monsters. We got uh, Lithogasm back. This is going to be really, really interesting. I really can't wait to play around and experiment with this card. Servant of Endymion. Uh, I think I saw, I think just about everyone and their brother saw this card coming. Um, Pancratops is kind of crazy. 
Um, I didn't really expect Pankratops to get limited, but Nessie, I can understand Nessie getting limited. The danger engine is just everywhere. So let's go ahead and move into our spell cards. Starting off with Card of Demise and Dragonic Diagram. No! Diagram is limited. That's the end of my life. Well, True Draco's dead, boys. It was nice knowing you. Um, Card of Demise, you're, you're at one. True Draco's dead, boys. Sorry. Demise needed to go to one for a long time, but Diagram, I, not even as a Draco player, disagree with. I really don't think the deck was doing enough to warrant. I guess Diagram going to one is kind of to balance Lithogasm coming to one, I guess, but I don't think that's really necessary. Into the Void. We all knew this card was going to get limited. This card is basically Upstart Goblin. Um, Pot of Avarice, finally. Pantheism of Monarchs still limited, what the fuck. But Pot of Avarice, alright, okay. So we're getting some nice little combo extenders here. I like it, I like it, I like it. S um, Sekka's Light going to one. Okay, trying to rein in those Sekka's Light decks. Okay, okay. A uh, Red Reboot going to one. Okay, uh, that's a nice little just screw you to back row deck. So this is going to be a really interesting format. That's it, huh? No more, uh, no more limits. So, um, I think the only thing that I disagree with here in the limited list is Dragonic Diagram. I feel like that the only reason this card's going to one is because Lithogasm is coming back, but I don't, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Um, Card of Demise definitely needed to be limited. In the Void definitely needed to be limited. Cool to see Pot of Avarice back. I'm very interested to see what we can do with this card. It's a nice little extender, but it can be dead until you get the uh, setup. Sekka's Light is also pretty interesting, along with uh, Red Reboot. So, uh, yeah, that's it for our limited cards. Now let's go ahead and move on to Semi-Limited. Okay, so Semi-Limited is really, really simple this time, apparently. We've got Deep Sea Diva to 2, Tour Guide to 2, and... Mind Control to two. Okay, so they're really hitting some side deck cards this this list. Red Reboot, Pankratops. Now Mind Control is going to two. That's pretty crazy. But Tour Guide and uh, Deep Sea Diva. I think we all of us saw Deep Sea Diva coming back because of the um, new support, the Deep Sea archetype and all that good jazz. But Tour Guide, that's pretty interesting. And they left the other two dangers alone. Hmm. It's a pretty interesting little format Konami's uh, creating over here. And then moving on to the free cards. Dark Arm Dragon, free. Lady Debug, free. Morphing Jar, free. Morphing Jar number two, excuse me. Damage Juggler, free. Tribe Infecting Virus, free. Kagari, free. Book of Moon, finally free. This card did not need to be banned. Or limited, excuse me. Why was Book of Moon at one? Who cares? Tribe Infecting Virus, who cares? Morphing Jar, who cares? Dad, who cares? Damage Juggler, who cares? Now, Phantom Knight's Rank Up Magic Launch. That's interesting. You don't see a whole lot of cards go from 0 to 3 instantly. But with Azathoth no longer around, Magic Launch can come back no problem. Kagari with Engage Band. Kagari doesn't mean jack or shit. So, uh, yeah. This is... Oh! Oh, shit! Solemn Warning to 3. We have the full Solemn Package! We have the full... Solemn package. Strike at three. Judgment three. Warning at three. Let's go. Solemn brigade. Brigade. You can run fucking twelve, uh, nine solemns. Let's go. Soul drain. Who cares about this card? Nobody in their mother. Nobody in their right mind was playing soul drain. That it. That's it. So this is it. This is our new list. Um. Overall. Uh, they definitely needed to shake up the format. I don't think they hit Orchest enough. Really, just the one hit to Harpoor. And the hit to Azathoth is really not enough, in my opinion. Orcus is still going to be dominant. Um, Salamangrate, I would say, got the axe, but Lady Debug came back. So, mm, I'll trade a Mirage Stallion for a Debug. And I think most Salamangrate players would agree. Mirage Stallion is a great extender, but you really need to see your starter in that deck. So, I don't know. That's definitely going to be interesting. Um, I'm really upset about Diagram going to one. I just, I don't feel like it's really necessary, though I am glad that Lithogasm come back. So like like I said earlier, I can see Diagram going to one as like a payoff for an extra copy of Lithogasm, but I think they really just wanted to kill pure Draco, which is why they limited Demise and why they uh, limited Diagram. But limiting Demise also hurts uh, Demise Sky Striker, so there's a whole lot of, man, back and forth to it. Um, ultimately, overall, I do like this list. Um... 
I do... It does kind of suck for me because, like, all of the decks that I've been building up and playing have been hit. Uh, Salamangrate, Thunder Dragon, True Draco. So, uh, I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board on what the hell I want to play. But, overall, I think this is a really solid list. It's going to really, really help the format a lot. There's a couple of weird ones like Brilliant Fusion and um, Electromite getting banned. But, who knows? Konami knows what they're doing. We don't know what product's coming out. They do. So, we shall see. But... That's all I've got for this one, you guys. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And if you do want to see more creative content from me, check out the description for all the different ways you can help support the channel. But, most importantly, don't forget, be a scrub. Peace.